Today I had an email from someone that is currently in the military here in Canada that is looking at buying a building lot. And unfortunately what has happened is he's read the government websites, IRAC websites, done a ton of research and gotten into a little bit of analysis paralysis and it doesn't have to be that complicated. Essentially when you're buying property, you can go ahead and buy anything you want in PEI. You might want to watch some of my videos in IRAC, Island Regulatory Appeals Commission. This limits people to buy up to five acres or 160 feet, 165 feet of waterfront per person. So it multiplies two people would be 320 and 10 acres. So you have to apply if you're buying over that, it's a 1% fee and it's usually not problematic if you have proper legal counsel. Now, as far as prepping, things, which is what this gentleman said in the email, there's no real prep work to be done with a building lot or if you're building on acreage. Basically, you're going to put an application in for a building permit, which at last time I checked was good for two years, and you're going to get a perk test done. A perk test is a hole in the ground that an excavator digs. They see where the water table is, how fast it rises. They stick a little test tube thing in the side. They send the soil out for analysis and basically tell you if you can put a septic system in there, and what category the soil is. Cat one would be perfect. Dig your hole, stick, stick your tank and your field in. Category two requires a bit of fill. Category three requires an engineered system, which can get quite expensive. And anything over category three, you probably need a canoe. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please press the little bell symbol beside it.